Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to take the build platform off of your Ender 6 along with its retaining clip so we can install our EasyFlex 2 system on it. So let's get to it. Our EasyFlex 2 system is a flex steel sheet that has either a textured surface or a smooth surface. The one I'm holding right now is our textured surface, and this is what we're going to be putting on this printer. With the EasyFlex 2, you print directly on top of this plate, take this off of your printer when you're done printing, and bend it, and the parts will release. This is a really, really nice system to get parts off your bed without having to use scrapers or anything else. The system is really easy to install. We just remove the stock surface that's on there. In this case, the Ender 6 comes with a glass build plate that has a couple of retaining clips. And then once that's removed, we're gonna clean the plate with isopropyl alcohol and then stick our magnetic surface down. Once that's down, you're ready to put the flex plate onto the magnetic sheet and print. So I'm gonna go over removing the glass plate and all the clips and installing the magnet so you guys can go and start flexing instead of scraping. We're gonna install the Easy Flex system here on our Ender 6, and it's pretty straightforward, but there are a couple of things I would like to show you guys that make installation easier. The first thing we're gonna do is open up the Ender 6 doors and move your bed to a position as shown here. You can either do it with the LCD and tell it to move down or just gently push it down with your hands. Make sure if you do push it down that you don't go too fast because you can back feed current into the board. So the first thing to do is take off the stock plate by removing the two front clips here lift it up and then pull it out in each of these corners at the front here there's a little m3 bolt that holds these clips we're going to go ahead and unscrew these i'm going to take a pair of pliers and grab the nut on the bottom of here and then take a two millimeter hex wrench and unscrew the screws which will release the clips Now we have the two front clips removed. We want to go ahead and do the same thing with the rear clips. These have two screws holding them in. Now we're gonna take our magnetic sheet. As you can see here, it has a backing on it that has adhesive. We're gonna start with one corner and peel back the adhesive. Do it about two inches and then fold it over just like this and we're going to line it up in the rear corner. I have the sheet lined up with the bed so I'm going to go ahead and press down in the corner and we're going to go back and forth at a diagonal until we hit where we peeled off which is right here. So lift up the sheet and you'll see the little tab that we folded over and we're gonna go ahead and grab this and pull it back about an inch and then rub it in a diagonal motion. Pull it again. We're gonna repeat this until the entire magnet is on the plate. Now, once you get towards the end, go ahead and pull this out really quick and then quickly push it down with your hand. And just like this, we now have the magnetic sheet installed on our printer. All you have to do is make sure your plate is clean, line up the back with the edge of the bed, and then snap it down. As you can see here, these magnets are very, very strong. So make sure you don't get your fingers caught between here when you're letting it snap down. Now, another one thing I do want to mention is that when you are dealing with the flex plates, if you clean this surface or this surface, you have to make sure everything is fully dried before you put these two back together. If you leave any sort of liquid between the plate and the magnet, it can eat away at this protective coating on the top of the magnet and then make it stick to the bottom of the plate. So make sure that this is clean and dry at all times. At this point, the system's installed and you should go through the process and re-level your bed with the plate installed because the height difference will be slightly off from where the stock plate is. If you are using an auto bed leveling probe, you'll probably have to change your Z offset. But other than that, you stick down the magnet onto the clean plate and then put your plate on top of the magnetic surface and now we're ready to go. So when I print on this, I can now take this plate off and then flex it 
and the parts will come off with ease. And then all I gotta do is put it back on and I'm ready to print again. And that's all there is to it. Once you go ahead and re-level your bed or adjust your Z offset, if you're using auto bed leveling probe, you can go ahead and just start printing as normal and enjoy the freedom that comes with not having to scrape parts off your printer bed and being able to just take the plate off, flex it, and they pop right off. This is a key upgrade that I put on all my personal printers and our whole print farm is outfitted with our same kits. They make removal a lot quicker and easier. And it also eliminates the need to have to use scrapers to get the prints off the bed. And as somebody who's cut my hand multiple times with scrapers back in the day when I was using those methods, um, I can tell you it's a welcome addition to any printer. So I hope you guys enjoy the Easy Flex 2 and I hope this video was helpful to show you how to install it on your Ender 6. Thanks for watching and as always, happy printing.